need the keys, right? Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Your relationship. Because you're lesbians. Every penny adds up, Sophie. Mm, now's not the time to pick up smoking. Oh, she's Sophie. a good girl who doesn't smoke. Good, oh, good, good. Shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby. Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? I should talk to Beth at the front desk. Oh, she's at the front desk. Okay, well. So we're not going to her room. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. This leak really needs to be fixed. I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. Can we? We can't go that way. Okay. Beth? There we go. Hey, Beth. Is this our girlfriend? Hey there. She's hot. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone. So I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. She makes excellent points. They weren't kissing this time. They were fighting. Oh, this is entertaining. I mean, oh no, why? <laughs> Helen, you're sure, awful and I love you. It sounded like Linda had something to do with it. Ugh, that bitch. Beth. Trust me, she deserves it. I don't get why everyone hates her so much. Linda's always nice to me. To you, maybe. Is she a lesbian? But she's just the worst to every girl she perceives as a threat. A threat? Threat to what? <laughs> I don't know. Her place as Bernard's right hand, I suppose. So, you're saying I'm not a threat? Apparently. I'm saying, that? I'm saying Linda thinks that, but that's her mistake. I know there's more afraid. to you than meets the eye. More than meets oh. the eye. Like the <laughs> lesbianism. Thanks. So, um, you said you needed me? My help, I mean. Oh, right. Wanna guess why? Uh, I'm guessing there's something I have to clean. Obviously. But what is it? Uh, Man. Did a kid throw up again? Man, the things uh, I could guess no. here. Did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. Feel it, too. While I was cleaning, some of it got... Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. Keep talking, and you'll be cleaning up after me, too. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people Ooh, right. damn. Bernard, especially. Damn. You <laughs> go, Sophie. She knows party. how to sweet talk a lady. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. All right. Press E to open. Okay. All right. That says a witty response for everything. Too bad maids aren't usually allowed in the lobby. Chatting with her every day would be a great way. Yeah, she's got a crush on Beth. Good. Good. Lesbians. Um. Wow, oh, bang. Uh. Interesting. Interesting. Uh. Okay. Personality. Yep, okay. Bernard, the big boss. Hell-bent on getting the hotel back in shape. Okay. Linda, the governess. Okay. Seems to have a soft spot for me. Okay. 
She's a lesbian. Uh, Wendy. Okay. The best friend of it. The bellboy. Jesus, she got engaged within like three or four months. Okay. Jacques. All right. Janet and Tony. Okay. Mom. Left when I was two years old. Haven't heard from him since. Okay. Well, that's all right. I haven't talked to me very much about how he's a nurse. Okay. Never an episode of The Wild Orchard. Okay. 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 Let's get that mop from the supply closet. The petite regal. Maybe Bobby wouldn't mind sneaking me a slice. Oh, no. Bernard would have both our heads. What are we... Oh, who the fuck is Bobby, ma'am? Oh, the head chef. I'm guessing we don't meet Bobby because he's not... He doesn't have a picture. All right. Um... Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her and huh, not just guests, apparently. Oh god damn it, Linda. I only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job after all. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that be a good reason? Well, Curiosity killed the cat. Shut the oh, fuck up, it, Andrew. Andrew. Hi, I, I was. I mean, already I'm we sorry, hate Andrew. Spying on He's interrupting us when we're getting the spicy details. I heard something, and I. Hey, hey, hey! It's okay. I'm just pulling your leg. I'm. I'm sorry. I scared you. I'm just. I. I'm not used to having people around me while I work. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. No, Beth called me. A guest knocked over a vase and made a mess in the lobby. Yeah, I saw that catastrophe happen. Just what we need, huh? Well, okay, Andrew. I'd rather be doing that than cleaning the reception hall with Nicole. Ooh, yeah, I don't even want to see the state of the place after this weekend. I know chocolate fountains are for dipping, but... I didn't expect to find someone's shoe. This sounds like an amazing party, and I'm sad I, we were not invited. <laughs> no idea. You must see plenty of weird stuff too, right? Yeah. What's like the ghosts. weirdest thing you found in a guest's room? Mm, a few months ago, I found stacks of pennies in a room's toilet. Like, a lot of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? What? And when I got to the bed, the pillowcases were filled with pennies as well. Pennies. I'm not sure if that guest simply had a strange way of leaving a tip. Maybe it was a penny robbery. Oh. Penny I, for your uh, thoughts. And she's that. a thought. It's hell here. Um It's okay. Okay. I need to um Go yeah. get go clean. Alright. Take care. You too. As if it wasn't enough. All right, Andrew. What is Andrew? Andrew's concierge and receptionist. Okay. Um, and dashing off on his laser and bearing himself. Okay. Okay. Yes. Book recommendations. Okay. Maybe she's by. Who knows? Uh. Okay. Okay. She wants to talk to him some more. All right. All right. Bobby made it very clear he doesn't like anyone walking into his kitchen uninvited. Beth said there was a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office. Mop? Yes. 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 Um. Okay. We don't. We don't need any of this shit. We need a mop. Okay, Sophie. Time to clean up that mess. 
Time to mop, baby. I'm really sorry about that. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. Eavesdrop. Well, that sounds a bit excessive, don't you think? Of course, of course. <laughs> We're all grateful that your employer chose the Clarington for its stay, but I'm listening, listening. Don't what? Worry. What's going on? I'll speak okay. to my manager and see what we can do. Fine, whatever. Is there anything else I? Yes. Clean. It's time to clean. All right, we're cleaning, we're cleaning, we're getting it done. We're getting our job done. Yeah. Look at this, look at this. We're the best maid in the world. A film roll? The guest must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it to him. Probably. Or we could develop it and see what's on it. Ew, I better throw that away. Now I just put the leaves back in the vase, and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Yeah, nothing ever happened. There's something so peaceful about looking out at a storm. From the inside. Where it's warm. And dry. Maybe Beth remembers who knocked over the vase. He'll want his film roll back. Yeah. Yeah, I bet he does. Will we get it back? Who knows? Hey, we can go this way. All right. She walks very upright. She walks very upright. Real fine dame, this Sophie. Uh, can we play the piano? No. This is, that's so disappointing. We can't play the piano. All right, let's go. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do, but... Sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already. But... No, that's okay. very Okay, let's unlikely. check this out. So, which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Sam Spade! Spade, spade, spade. Uh, it's not on that side. Spade, spade. Yeah, that's spade. That's Sam Spade in room five hundred five. Contact him. Sadly, he doesn't have a phone. He's a bit of an old-fashioned fellow, if you know what I mean. Room five hundred five. Great. That's on my floor. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. Kneel down, all right? Then you clasp your hands together and think really hard about just how <laughs> this much this bitch. I love her. I love her. Help to repeat his name too. It's um God, G O D. I'm sure. Can I still leave these are on the front desk? I guess he didn't hear Beth when she swore she'd burn the place to the ground next time she had to suffer through one of his sermons. No, I I'm dead serious. If anyone can make the snowstorm end, it's him. Uh, hello? <phone rings> Sir? Oh, well. 19 rest in Deviant Raid! Uh, Sex Deviants. Oh no. Montreal City employee, a court official, and two teachers were... Only two teachers? Surprising. Um, school principal, parents, she didn't rent room. Blah, 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 blah. La Liberté. Major snowstorm. Shop owners against new mental hospital. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Another bloody Valentine. The murder of an Outremont res resident. We'd never called the authorities at 11.15 p.m. After hearing loud shouts. I was by a 34-year-old man. Okay. Stop worrying and save your Mary with Lysol. Personal hygiene, were you? Are those worries bothering your husband? 
Uh, safeguard their beauty and avoid undesirable surprises. What? Penetrative and effective, even in the presence of organic matter. Uh, is that? Um, where, where exactly is the lye soil going? Which hole is that? Because it's for a hole. It's definitely for a hole of some type. Um, ma'am? Oh, she's done. Okay. Poor Nicole. No one should be stuck cleaning up the reception hall after a ball, even if they did draw the short straw. All right. Let's clean. Clean. We are the best cleaner in the world. Yes. Yes. Yes is the kind of riveting gameplay I'm here for. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did it. We did it. This leak really needs to be fixed. We did it, I hope guys. The doesn't make it worse. We cleaned the floor. I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. Fortunately, no one else in this hotel uses the elevator. So. Hold it, please. <sighs> oh, I thought we were going to be like, fuck you, Andrew. Phew. Made it. Thanks. You're welcome. Was it you who cleaned the puddle by the restrooms? Was I not supposed to? Well, Eugene asked us not to touch <gasps> anything. I got achieve. The leak, but I have no idea what achievement I got. Someone could have <gasps> on it. Which floor? Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. Look, man, if I was a bellhop at a hotel and there were a bunch of pretty girls as the maids and it was just us there all the time like i would be flirting with all of them any anyone who would give me the time of day um he's sort of a celebrity isn't he he sure acts like one i wouldn't want to be that poor assistant he keeps shouting at i wish i was assigned to clean his room can you imagine the weird things I'd find? Be careful what you wish for. I wouldn't be surprised if the man kept a few skeletons in his closet. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Are we sure he's real? Only Bernard knows his identity. <gasps> uh, Only Bernard. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm, I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Why did you even say anything, or Andrew? Okay, let me think. Dumbass. Oh. Saved by the bell. Oh. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. Is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Have fun up there. You too. Oh. Teasing such a nice girl. 